panel um, cleanup, we like to call it, um, and it was initiated by a, phys a physician shortage which meant that we were recruiting actively um, some physicians and we needed to find um, physicians and but we also wanted to know who our patients were, how many we had and that was what prompted our, our own panel cleanup for Vulcan Medical Clinic. In doing that we started a process of um, um, in engaging all the staff um, in uh, identifying who who was a primary, primary physician and who our actual active patients were. We had a total of 16,000 patients initially in our panel and um, we've been able to, within a matter of about a year, uh, bring it down to about 5,500 people. And in doing that, we had all of our staff involved in that process. Initially, we, we cre used our search engine within, within Wolf. Um, we also used our daytime scheduler. So in the early, early days of starting out, we would, we would just, each patient as they arrived, the uh, receptionist would check and uh, ask who someone's you know, physician was. We started with that piece. Uh, we went on to, um, I went on to add uh, using our search uh, capabilities within Wolf to um, first of all find patients that haven't been in the clinic for for a number of years, just looking for dates. And um, our EMR has been in place here since 2004, and this is our first attempt at, at cleanup uh, within the last year. So we started with patients who were dating back to 2004, and if they hadn't been in to see the physicians, we knew that there was likely we looked at where they were from, was the information complete, uh, did they actually have a local address? Those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And it, it was a one by one kind of a process. So each chart was, was viewed by more than one person to establish that. The EMR cleanup process is, has been critical to um, establishing a number of things. Um, it not only um, allowed us to establish who our patients really are, um, how many of them are, and as we move forward with physician recruitment, it was crucial for us to know in the recruitment process what, that, what those panels would look like um, as we offer them to potential uh, physicians that want to join the practice. You can imagine how daunting that would be for a physician entering a practice with an unknown number of patients as opposed to clearly identified um, numbers of patients for, for the panel. My greatest success story as a panel manager so far has been the ability to, to decrease our panel size. So when we started with this project, we ran a report to find out the number of our active patients and we had 66,000 active patients. Our community is the size about 7,500 people, so we knew that that was really um, an outrageous number for us. So in doing our panel work, once we'd streamlined some of the processes, got them into place and had all the staff doing them, we were able to get that number down to about 10,000 patients, which is quite reasonable for a town of our size. Uh, it sort of tells you which patients are, are whose, first off. Um, my patients in particular, but also in our clinic, uh, we have had in the past lots of patients who we couldn't really identify that were our patients because they'd gone through emergency or to the hospital that were still included in our, our EMR and gave us a completely unrealistic look at you know what we thought were our patients which in fact was not true. So that's uh, probably the most important thing is to really know you know which patients are patients that I think are mine and they think I'm their doctor.